Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alena and in this video I'm going to tell you about software development models. Content of this video. Sequential life cycle, iterative or incremental life cycle, characteristics of good testing, and sample questions. Software development models are software development processes and methodologies that are used during creation of an application. Testing is not isolated activity. It depends on software development life cycle. There are software development models with sequential life cycle and iterative or incremental life cycle. There are software development models with sequential life cycle and iterative or incremental life cycle. On this picture you can see that waterfall model and V model are software development models with sequential life cycle and agile development, rapid application development, rational unified process are software development models with iterative or incremental life cycle. Sequential life cycle. In sequential life cycle, there is a sequential flow of phases and the transition from one phase to another occurs only after successful completion of previous phase. On this picture, you can see phases of waterfall model. Waterfall model is the oldest software development model. It is called waterfall because the process of development looks like a flood of consistently passing the following phases. Requirement analysis, design, coding, testing, and maintenance. Testing in waterfall model starts only when coding of all system was completed. V model differs from waterfall model. For each development activity, there is testing activity and it is performed in parallel. In sequential life cycle, there is one large development timeline with phases that are not repeated. So, the coding, for example, can be started only when design phase was completed. Then testing occurs only when coding of the whole system was completed. So, so all these phases, they are done once. They are not repeated. In iterative or incremental life cycle, there are several small self-contained life cycle phases that constantly repeat one after another. Incremental development model is a development life cycle where a project is broken into a series of increments, each of which delivers a portion of the functionality in the overall project requirements. The requirements are prioritized and delivered in priority order in the appropriate increment. So here there is a picture of iterative or incremental life cycle. There are several phases and uh, each phase has uh, its own flow which is repeated. We can have an example of a messenger application like WhatsApp. If WhatsApp uh, was developed using sequential life cycle model, so all the requirements were gathered and analyzed, then it was designed. After design, um, the code was written for the whole application. So user uh, would be able to uh, send text, to send photos, to send videos, for example. Only after all these features were implemented, testing uh, begins and um, testers can test all this functionality. And in the end, we have the uh, completely working product with the whole functionality at once. If we are talking about iterative or incremental life cycle, so the functionality would be divided into several phases. So the first phase, for example, user would be able to send only text. So after this phase, client could see the working functionality of uh, sending text. The next phase, it can be, for example, adding new, fun new functionality of sending pictures. So a uh, user will be able to send photos um, and in the end of this phase, it will be completed. This and uh, the next phase, it can be, for example, adding uh, functionality of sending videos. What software development model to choose? The model selected for a project will depend on project aims and goals. Models provide general guidelines 
not an accurate and step-by-step -step process that has to be followed. So models could be adapted to project and product characteristics. Characteristics of good testing. Uh, I would like to highlight that this information is very important to know uh, and it can be used in uh, ISTQB exam. So, for each development activity, there is a corresponding testing activity. Each test level has test objectives specific to that level. The analysis and design of tests for a given test level should begin during the corresponding development activity. So, testers should start writing the test cases for the application or for some specific functionality when developers are going to start writing the code. Testers should be involved in reviewing documents as soon as drafts are available in the development life cycle. This characteristic is uh, the same, almost the same as one of the principles of software testing, that testing should start as early as possible. Practice. When working with software development models, what is it important to do? If needed, adapt the models to project and product characteristics. Yeah, that's true. Um, models can be adapted to um, project and product characteristics. B. Choose the waterfall model because it is the most proven model. It is false because there are uh, a lot of other software development models. C. Start with V-model and then move to either the iterative or incremental model. It is false because uh, V-model is a model with sequential life cycle and it is not compatible with iterative models. Then change the organization to fit the model, not vice versa. It is not true because we should um, change the model in order to make it fit to the organization, not change organization to fit the model. So the correct answer is A. If needed, adapt the models to project and product characteristics. Next question. Which of the following is a characteristic of good testing and applies to any software development lifecycle model? Acceptance testing is always the final test level to be applied. It is true only for projects with uh, acceptance testing. There, there can be projects without acceptance testing. All test levels are planned and completed for each developed feature. Uh, it is not true because um, in some projects can uh, cannot have some test levels. For example, there is a component testing and component testing can be uh, missed because company will buy the code from third party. See, testers are first involved when first piece of code can be executed. It is not true because testers should be involved as early as possible. For example, for uh, requirement analysis. D. For every development activity, there is a corresponding testing activity. Yeah, this is true. So, the uh, one of the characteristics of good testing is for every development activity, there is a corresponding testing activity. Correct answer is D. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in software testing videos, please subscribe. See you in my next videos.